I'm right up in the windswept Cambrian mountains here at a beautiful wild clin called Pantichlin. It's a stunning teardrop shape. I'm just sat just behind the wind and fishing into a weed bed for what are some very, very special fish. Normally places like this in Wales, you just think brown trout, but actually here is one of the oldest strains of carp in the British Isles. We're not exactly sure whether it's a wild carp or whether it's something that was bred from a strain of king carp, but what we do know is that they are very, very old indeed. They were probably put here by monks way back in the Middle Ages as a source of food for them to eat on Fridays, which were their meat-free days. And there's actually monasteries dotted around here, which kind of supports that theory. But what we definitely know is the strain of carp in here are very old and they've been pretty much left to their own devices. They are stunning, stunning fish and I really, really hope I get to show you one today. Fishing up here is available to anyone. All you need to do is go on the Wyanusk Fishing Passport Scheme, log on online and book yourself on this particular spot. They cover all kinds of rivers, obviously the River Wye, the River Usk, but you've also got loads of beautiful little trout streams as well and wild lakes like this place. It really is a very, very special resource. And actually, it is the biggest online fishing book, booking database in the entire United Kingdom. And 90% of it is based in Wales. So we're very, very lucky to have it. And hopefully, I'm gonna be lucky enough to get one of these wild carp today. We'll see. There is going to be big balls of minnows around both of these areas right now. Not to put a downer on it, but that's a good thing too, you know. Oh, see that? See that? Is there a fish on there? It feels like a dead weight. Can't feel anything. Fish on. That was weird. What a strange bite small whatever it is it's very small whatever it is but it's still a fish it looks like a little chub <laughs> it's a little chub i don't believe it you come all the way up here to catch a wildie and the first fish you catch first chuck is a chub that's not even been out there five minutes There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, I mean, in terms of chub, it's absolutely mint condition. Hooks just dropped out there in the net. Tiny fish. I mean, we're talking 10 ounces, but that is absolutely scale perfect. Right, let's pop him back. This water's so warm today. What a beautiful fish. There he goes. Amazing. Good start. What? nothing worse than that feeling of just like lost fish you know and I know that the wildies in here are small you know wild carp are smaller than your average king carp species but they are incredibly powerful we are talking about big tail sets here and that has done me I mean
the clutch was set to run on that reel. I don't understand quite what happened there, but it, it took the rod like almost into the lake. I'm gonna have to recast and hope I get another chance. But they're here and they're feeding. That was primal. Where's that fish? It's just nodding away. It's definitely bigger than the chub. It doesn't feel huge. It's not fighting very hard. Not like the one that I lost earlier. Where is it? Water's colouring up. They feel like they're really coming onto the feed now. This could be the first wild carp. Oh, it's fighting now. Okay. There's a big weed bed now. That I'm just trying to slowly bring it over the top on. Don't want to be too hard on it. There's a fish, it looks like a carp. It is a carp. Wow, look at that dorsal cutting through the water. What a lovely looking fish that is. Okay, got to be really careful now. There's a lot of weed on the line. Don't mind going in after you. Guys, almost chub-like. Can't be another chub, surely, not running like this. Look at that, goodness me, they scrap. Okay, maybe now. Oh, it is a chub. I don't believe it. <laughs> Almost chub-like, what a plum. It's a big old chevin. Ah. Oh. Look at that. I mean, come on, you can't, you can't complain when you catch fish like that. It isn't the target species. Let's slip the hook out in the net. But that is a really, really nice chub. It wasn't until I actually got a good look at the dorsal fin then, and obviously couldn't see it running down the length of the body that I realized that that was most definitely in the not a wild carp camp. Here it is. That put in a great account for itself. What a beautiful fish. Chunky, fat, well fed. I mean, you wonder what they're eating up here, but look at him. It was surprising to me that I've come all the way to the top of this mountain to try and catch a carp. But it's even more surprising that I'm catching chub. You know, feels like an out and out river fish. Off he goes, that guy wanted to go, he's strong. We have had it all today. Oh, that is pulling. That is pulling, that is pulling, that is pulling. Whoa, that is going. Certainly knows it's hooked. Oh, I'm so nervous. Goodness me. That was as fast a run going out across the lake as it was coming back towards me then. Just stayed in contact. Barbless hook on as well, so he's just got to try and keep pressure on. It's a big weed bed in front of me here now. I don't want it to get its head down in that. This has got to be a carp. We've had it all today. Late July in Wales, it's been raining all day. We've had this wind coming down the lake, beginning to wonder whether it was going to happen or not. 
suddenly this rod is just absolutely ripped off. Oh, I just, just, just turned on the surface there. What a wild place to hook into a fish like this. It's coming back towards me now. Is it going to be friendly? There it is. I mean, this is really not even a big fish, but it has fought like you wouldn't believe. There it is. Turn on the surface. This is definitely the fish we came for. Here it comes. Get in that net first time. Yes. Wicked. Woo. That was touch and go. Goodness me. What a lovely carp this is. Wow. What an absolutely fantastic fish. It looks like it's been minted in gold. Steady now. Right, there we are. The oldest strain of carp in Wales. The wildy, and you can tell that it's a wild carp and that it's different from king carp species that you'd encounter in commercials because of this sleek body shape. There's no pronounced hump behind the head and more than anything, the huge fins, what a tail set. And that is where that incredible power came on those runs. Right, I'm gonna rest her up in the lake because that put in an incredible account of itself. I've caught a few carp in my life, but to see that come up through the water column and get it in the back of the net, oh, I just cannot believe that a fish of this size would fight as hard as that just did then. It's blown my mind. What a beautiful fish. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. Magic. Absolutely magic, brilliant stuff. Oh. Yeah, cool. Well, the boss is in now. The man that is fishing in Wales is catching an absolutely iconic fish in Wales right now. He's giving him the run around already. The rod absolutely melted off. You definitely have to fish with a very, very loose clutch here. And he's slowly easing it back over this big weed bed. So this is brown wader time for him right now. It's definitely getting its head down. Oh. It's just those savage thumps on the rod tip. Okay, I can see it now. I think I'm gonna go in after this. There it is. It's gone in. Yeah, it swam straight in. <laughs> as soon as it saw the green in the net, it thought it must have thought it was weed or something. It just went straight in. Yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. That's a bigger fish, that is. Nice one, Kerry. Amazing. What a fish. It's a good fight, isn't it? We'll just come up a little bit, I think. Slightly in the silt here. There we go. Oh, yeah, it was. All of that waiting, all of that time, just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, you, you do have to put up with bad weather sometimes in Wales, and you can kind of lose heart, and you're getting a bit wet, and you're, you're thinking about going home, but just hang on in there, you know? We knew that there was better weather coming, and the second that the, the, second the rain stopped and that wind died down, 
double hookup basically, only just returned my one and then Kerry's rod's just torn off. There you go mate. What a fish. And for a wild carp, that really is, really is as good as it gets, isn't it? That's um, a real specimen size, isn't it? That is beautiful, wow. That. Nice one, mate. Wild carp, wild carp. Absolute magic. We're using really simple methods to catch these fish. You know, nothing complicated at all. This is a very basic flat method, feeder fishing setup, very short hook link. You know, that dinner plate effect when the ground bait breaks up around the hook bait, hook bait sat in the middle, perfect. I mean, if we were fishing the way we'd really love to fish, if it was warm and more settled, then I'd, I'd probably be free lining for crust or float fishing some sweet corn in the margins and trying to stalk these fish. But today with the wind and the weather how it is, even though it's the end of July, the fish are a little bit out in the middle. So that you do need a bit more of a punch and fishing a static bait really is the way forward. And you know, feeder fishing is a lot of fun too. And as we've seen so far today, the bites can be absolutely savage. Well, I've come to the end of my day here on Pantech Lynn, and I have to say, this has been one of the highlights of my angling year without a question. Not only have we caught some absolutely stunning fish, what a location to do it in. You know, I know it's a bit of a cliche to say it's more than just catching, but you come and sit at a place like this you know, you really do feel like you can properly unwind. It is so good for your headspace. And this place is just one of so many gems spread out right across the Welsh countryside. We are so lucky. And if you want to have a look and find somewhere new to fish, somewhere a little bit different, just like this, please do head to the Fishing in Wales website or give them a follow on social media because there is a wealth of information there on places that you can come that really will offer you something different and you never know you might just catch the fish of a lifetime too. Discover fishing in Wales 